What Up Adventures, it's Shy Girl here and it is time to talk about Halloween and pumpkins. I am not very good at carving pumpkins, in fact I hate it. The only thing I like about carving pumpkins is the seeds that you get to bake and eat afterwards. This year I'm not going to worry about carving them, I am going to spray paint them. I am bringing you along to show you this tutorial in case you don't want to carve them and you want to spray them yourself as well. I hope you enjoy. Before we get started, one tip I want to give to you guys is clean your pumpkins first. These all came with mud and kind of gross stuff on it and off camera I cleaned them up. I took some paper towels, wet them, put some soap on there and just kind of washed them. And so now instead of there being mud everywhere, they're clean and ready to be painted. They're going to have three different themes for these pumpkins. This guy here is going to be cream with some geometric shapes, I'll show you that one. This one here is going to be turquoise with some um, crayons melted down the side. That one's going to be really cool. And then this one is going to have some gold um, flowers and leaves and kind of a gold theme to it. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the big one first, which means we're going to move these medium sized one or these that medium sized one and the small one over. And we're going to kind of clear this area and focus on this guy. I've also made sure that I have a tarp and some cardboard on my deck so I don't get that dirty. All right, so let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna try at my best to not coat this because I wanna do that one a different color, but I'm just going to carefully. And again, um, this is Rust-Oleum. It's satin, it's not glossy, and it is, doesn't really tell you the name of it on the can, but I'm not using a straight white. It's more like a cream color. And I'm just gonna continue to spray this kind of evenly, which is a little tricky because it has all these ridges on the side. So you I'm just covering this as best I can. I'm not gonna worry about it being like ultra perfect, although who am I kidding, I'm a perfectionist. So even though I say I'm not gonna make sure it's perfect, I'll probably try to make it perfect in my eyes. <laughs> Step one, done. I think this one I'm gonna make white as well. So might as well get that spray painted too, since we're using the white, and then I can do the turquoise. And yeah. The other reason I'd like to do this now is because, er, why can't I open this? It's childproof. Since these two have the same color, if I get a little bit of the spray on there, it's not gonna be a big deal. There we go with the little guy. I'm just a little guy. Now we need to do this guy here. If you can do this in a place where you don't need a tarp, I highly recommend it. It's super annoying. Okay, we're gonna do the turquoise one over here in the corner so that we don't get any of the spray paint on our white. Now this one I'm not gonna care if I get the top colored because we're gonna have crayon that kind of drips down and I'm fine with it being completely turquoise. Sorry if I'm making funny faces, but I'm trying smelling in all the chemicals and I'm really wishing I had a mask on my face right now. Really getting it good because I'm anal. <laughs> Not bragging, it's something I should probably work on. Alright, so I have some paint brushes here. I have some gold spray paint. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint. I'm gonna spray paint my paint brushes to paint the tops of these white pumpkins well, shake your spray paint. All right, so I'm just spray painting my brush oh. and then we're just going to carefully paint it onto our stem here. I think I'm gonna change my idea a little bit on this one since I like the drifts 
and I want that top to be really gold. I'm gonna spray paint the top of this one as well, gold, especially because we're gonna put some gold accents on this one so it'll look really nice. This one will also have gold accents. Look how it's really accenting the top of that. I think that looks so cool. This is turning out a lot better than I even imagined. And again, sometimes you have an idea in your head of what you want something to look like, and you just have to be open to letting it change. That's what art is. You're expressing yourself, so you can do whatever you'd like. And then for this one, I'm going to start to just do some little gold accents kind of around it, like so. This one has some drips coming down, so I'm gonna try to see if I can make some more drips happen. So I'm gonna tilt that a little bit and kind of let it go down. So you can see our drips, they're coming down just so. It's looking really nice. Now for the next part, we're gonna add some color to this big guy here, because I think that one's probably the driest of all three since it was the first one that we spray painted. Something different. What we're going to do is take some of the turquoise and we're going to spray the sponge. You kind of have to spray a lot to get it in there because the sponge is soaking it up into the center. And then I'm just going to do like that. So I'm just kind of rocking my sponge up and down to kind of give it more of the shape of the sponge and not like circles. <laughs> so just put them wherever you want. It doesn't have to be perfect. I kind of want mine to be asymmetrical, kind of just random all over the place. spots. Do you see what that's turning into? I like it. I like the drips. I like the splash of gold. Back once this is dried a little bit to finish it up. All right, for this little guy, I have some fancy flowers and kind of garland to wrap around it. So we're going to glue this on there. Let's some of this Mod Podge first. Let's see what happens. We need thick stuff that's going to stick on there. and it'll dry clear, so don't worry if you can see it. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so we're gonna let those dry. Okay, I just had a quick idea. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I have these gemstone stickers, and I think I'm gonna spray paint some of them gold, and then later, and I'll show you this, I'll bring you guys with me, um, after this is dry completely, I might stud this down the side. What do you think? I think that's a pretty good idea. So Adventures, while the pumpkins are drying so that we can do the final touches, I'm in here doing the final touches on Queen and Monkey because they are filthy, covered in spray paint. And so are my fingers. So I'm gonna be in the sink. So while they dry, I'm cleaning up. And then we'll get back to these final touches on these pumpkins. So far, I'm pretty happy with how they're turning out, even though I've had to change my plan about five times. So we are back in my kitchen to finish up these pumpkins. I had to move the entire production indoors because it got really dark out and it was getting a little cold. So the pumpkins are here. They finished drying here on the countertops and we're ready to put the final touches on our turquoise and small white pumpkin. And then we'll talk a little bit more about the big pumpkin over here. Okay, so. For the little one, our silver gemstone stickers are now gold. And what we decided to do for this one, I'm gonna do some studs along the end, or the edges. So what I'm gonna do is just look for the crease in the pumpkins, and I'm just gonna put these beads down the side. So here's what our bead work looks like so far. I like it a lot. 
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is the turquoise pumpkin. So before I finish this one, I just wanna show you guys what we're gonna do with this one because this is gonna take quite a bit of time. Um, this turquoise one, we're going to do a kind of like a tie-dye slash melted crayon look. So it's gonna have all these different splashes of color that come down the sides, which I think should look really nice. So I have peeled and broken crayons already off camera. And now I'm gonna take my hair dryer here and I'm gonna put it on heat. So now I'm just gonna carefully hold this. I'm starting to see some colors blending into each other. So I think this is gonna be done. I like the colors. I like how it's definitely spread out and wide around the pumpkin. I like that the base, the turquoise base, really makes the other colors pop. And I think if I were to do this pumpkin again next year, I think I won't do as many of these dark colors. I'll probably stick to orange, yellow, red, blue, maybe green. I think that's probably what I would do differently next year. So let's take a close up of these pumpkins. Okay, so here is what I'm calling the peacock or the cheetah. Now, this one didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it would, but I still like it. Now, I'm not sure how you guys feel about this one, but it is the cream colored base. It's got the beautiful bold um, top, which I don't know, it just, I think it's gorgeous. I have some of the gold kind of dripping down, which I thought was really nice. I have some splatters of the turquoise, and then I did these turquoise spots. Um, I started by using a sponge and then spray painted over top a few of them to cause that dripping, which I think is really cool. And then I sprayed some gold on it as well to accent the turquoise, if you will. Pumpkin, the flower studded one, I think is probably my favorite take a look. So for this one we started by painting or spray painting the pumpkin the cream into the stem gold. We glued some gold flowers on the top and then I spray painted some silver stickers. They were like gemstone stickers. I painted those gold and I just put those all around. Every so often I have some gold that I spray painted or um, that you'll see there's some gold accents along the pumpkin. So I just really love this one. This was a spot that we had a mistake and I decided to spray paint over it. And now I'm only gonna do a little bit because I'm inside my house. I'm just gonna do a little highlight of some gold there. See, you don't even notice it. And then I'm gonna maybe do a little splash here. Just ever so light. All right. And there she is. And last but not least, we have our globe. This is what I'm gonna call this one, the globe, because all those rich colors makes me think of the world and a globe, especially with that nice bright turquoise. And remember, we took the turquoise spray paint, we spray painted it, and then we broke crayons after peeling the paper off of them, placed them on the top, and we melted it with a hair dryer. So, here are our final pumpkins. What do you guys think? I'm sure you've already done yours for this year, and if you haven't, here's a quick way to get some pumpkins decorated on your porches or on your balconies or wherever you have it to display, even in your house. One nice thing I like about doing pumpkins like this instead of carving them is they don't rot as fast. So you can actually keep them up for decor for a lot longer than you can with a pumpkin that you carve. All right, adventures, it is really late. It's like almost 11. <laughs> Let's take a look to see what these pumpkins look like on my front porch. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me on this evening adventure at home as we decorated pumpkins for Halloween. I hope you guys got some great ideas. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I hope that you enjoyed this adventure and I'll see you on the next one. Good night.